boycott Call of Duty. That's all I'm going to say right now. This is going to be unedited, straight from the heart, plain and simple. Call of Duty needs to be stopped. Activision needs to be shut down. They're not going to get shut down, but you know what I mean. We need to stop supporting them. And there's a lot of people going around that are saying, boycott COD, boycott Activision, don't buy the game, refund the pre-orders, and I'm all on board with that. And then there's also people that I feel like are sugarcoating it a little. Uh, one person I'm going to say, you know, if somehow Eric manages to watch this video, I want to say, you know, love the videos, I love the entertainment, but I cannot agree with the idea of saying, we can't just sit here and boycott Call of Duty because all that's going to do is nothing but to me it doesn't really make much sense because in in his eyes in his perspective if we just boycott then it's our sign of giving up and then they're going to give in to the casuals but realistically they're doing it anyways and we i've been speaking my voice you know they're blame truth been speaking his voice you look at the comment section on instagram on youtube on twitter when are we not speaking our voice it's been four years, five years, six years now. How many years has it been of us saying, we want this, we want that. And then they half-ass it, give it to us. We the, we bite into the COD cycle. And then we realize a month in, oh, why did they do that? This still sucks. And then they hold it off to the next year. Oh, now we got prestigious back and round-based zombies. That's what you're going to market and advertise for us to buy your game? An omni-movement? Which I don't, I never heard a single soul mention that they wanted Omni movement in the game. Don't even get me started with that. Oh, prestiging and Rambe zombies, yay! As if that didn't exist 15 years ago? As if that should have never been removed? It's recycled content. We've been bashing skill based matchmaking. We've been bashing the no prestiges. We've been bashing the leaderboards. We've been bashing zombies. For how many years? How many years have we tried speaking up? It's not a level of giving up. It's a level of, I mean, it sounds like giving up, but in my head, it's just like protecting your own sanity at this point. Why, why buy the game? Oh, guys, just don't, we can't not buy the game because what is that going to do? What is that going to do? It's going to save me 70 freaking dollars in my bank account and it's going to save my time, energy, and stress and I'm, and, and I'm done. I'm not giving up. I'm retiring. You retire, all right? That's that's. Let's use that phrase. I've been playing COD for 15 years. I'm not quitting. I retired. I'm done. What are you going to do to me? Like, come on. It's trash now. The game's trash. And then if we did speak up, which we already have been, and if we don't speak up, which we haven't been, and even if you are somebody that stays quiet or you want to sugarcoat and beat around the bush, they're obviously not changing a single thing about the game. If I had a million subscribers right now, if I had 10 million subscribers right now, look at FaZe Jeff. Look at his disappointment. FaZe Clan said, rethink your decision. Give us back H2M. Nobody likes skill-based matchmaking. But then we're just going to not talk about it every day or, oh, quit bringing it up. Like, what do you mean quit bringing it up? You told me not to give up. Quit bringing up skill-based matchmaking. It's not going to go anywhere. But then isn't that giving up? Isn't that giving up? It's not. I'm done. Like, and you should be done too. Because... Regardless, if you do speak up or not, they don't care about the loyal community because the loyal community is not the majority. It's the stupid brain dead brain rot, low attention span, TikTok brain freaking casual players that are the ones that are buying the skins that don't know skill base exists. I think they're good at the game when they're not because skill base does exist. So if I spoke up for 10 years straight, if everybody spoke up for 10 years straight, but the casuals are still bringing in more money according to their data, but we're still going to sit here and buy the game, which is still supporting them, then why would they change their mind? And then even if we stopped, and they're still going to do it, all that does is save us our stress and our care. Move on. That's how I think. I'm not buying Black Ops 6. You shouldn't buy Black Ops 6. I bought Modern Warfare Remastered. I refunded Modern Warfare Remastered. And I know there's leaks out there. I'm never going to go in depth with that. I'm an insane overthinker. I'm not downloading any of these external EXE files. I don't care how legit it is. I don't trust people. So the fact that it's gone, the Discord's not being used anymore, and the actual dev team themselves, like, 
by all means, if you find the download, you have fun. It killed it for me. The fact that what Activision did killed it for me. And I'm just, I'm really just sick of it. Um, so I, I don't know. I haven't played COD in months. That's why I stopped posting on the channel for a while because I kind of hit a, a roadblock. I had so many plans in mind. I was so hyped for H2M. I think I might have called it HM2, but you know what I mean. Um, and then the day before it drops, like I was just heartbroken. And I didn't even know from Twitter or anything. I was just watching a YouTube video. And then I saw a comment that said 30 seconds ago, did you guys see the cease and desist? And I'm like, no way. I'm like, that's got to be a prank. Wasn't a prank. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just here to rant and just speak my mind. So whoever watches this video, if you don't agree with me, I don't care. If you do agree with me, uh, I'm sorry that you are feeling the same frustration as I am. I think that we should give up. Stop buying the game. Why would we support? You know, like the way I think is the way you get something, even if it doesn't work is say you hate your job, you're not getting paid enough, and say there's a group of people that feel the same way. You either stop working and go on strike, aka don't buy the game and not play Call of Duty, or you, you, you leave. You go find a better option. And it sucks because if you're part of trickshotting, sniping, going for nukes, like that doesn't really exist in these games. But I would say don't settle for the bare minimum and maybe go experience a new genre. Go experience a new FPS game that you might not know you like yet. Don't buy into COD. Whether you're a, a, you know, a, a major loyal fan, whether you're a casual, whether you hate the game, love the game. If the money's rolling in, Call of Duty's not going to care. The only time they are going to care is the day that the casuals somehow do get on board with us. And then they do actually start losing a, a, dr a drastic amount of sales. They lost sales from Modern Warfare 3, but I bet the marketplace kept them alive because you log on and you see these idiots with these stupid skins. These stupid flashy skins and their stupid weapon and specs that pulls a gun apart in a million pieces and starts having some fireworks show in front of you. Why, why, who's, like, how much money is this guy getting paid to make this stupid animation when they could be maybe building a better map? Or maybe building a better game. And then you're going to shut down a free game that the developers got no money from. H2M, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. You're going to shut that down. But then still have the audacity to keep the actual games up on Steam. Which are a threat to your customers. Because there's RCE exploits. And you don't have the team to, to keep up with the security. Or the security is outdated. It is, a, apparently, I've read, against Steam's terms of service to have games up like this on the Steam market. You can send all your stupid cease and desist letter out. You can send all these out as much as you want. And at the end of the day, you're still committing a crime. How, of a, how much of a hypocrite can you be? Oh, that's our, that's our IP. This is our copyright. All right. And, and, and then you, 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 walk, you look right to your left. And then you got the Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2 that... When not on sale, are still 60 freaking dollars. And some guy who's a casual, your casuals that you're aiming for, that don't watch YouTube and don't pay attention to this stuff. Oh, hey, look, Steam, it's on sale for, for $30. Let me feel some nostalgia. I'm going to log on Black Ops 2 on Steam. And then next thing you know, uh, you know, they check their credit report and somebody's pretending to be them. How did that happen? You know how that happened? Activision. Thank Activision. Are you kidding? Take it down. There needs to be something put together on Steam where, like, this has to get taken down. They should not be making money off these old games. They should not have operating servers on these old games. And they should just mind their own business. All right? We wanted a safe game to play. We paid you. We paid for Modern Warfare Remastered. We paid you to play an old game safely because that's the old Call of Duty we knew and love. And you shut it down? Such a spit in the face. So, why would I sit here and, quote-unquote, not give up? It's done. It's done. They don't care about you. And then, the, what blows my mind, too, is, like, these are the same YouTubers that say that, but then they're going to go to COD next. And I get it. They're getting paid to play the game early. It's, it's, it's videos for them. It's money for them. But, like, if you really cared, you wouldn't show up to that. You would speak openly about the people that cheat, the streamers that cheat. 
the people that reverse boost for content to get nukes and wins on Warzone and nukes on Warzone and unlock all tools. You would expose these people. You wouldn't show up to COD next. You would maybe go show up to COD next if you wanna and make a video and say, you cheat, prove me otherwise. Just show you're actually on the side of the loyal community because you say, and I'm not pointing fingers at anybody with this statement, but it's a fact. That there's people that sit there and say, I'm severely disappointed in Call of Duty. But then they're going to buy Black Ops 6. They're going to promote Black Ops 6. They're going to say, oh, your yeah, skill-based matchmaking still exists. And they were done. I said I was done model for 3. Gave it a chance. Tried making YouTube on it. It was really just... It was a buzzkill of a game, to be honest. I enjoyed it for a little bit. Quickly realized just the scum behind the, the developing of the game. Like, not the developers themselves, but you know what I mean. Like, the corporate losers. Um... And I just can't support it anymore. It, it, it bothers me to pay these people money. And it also bothers me that when I log on, I'm logging on knowing the game's against me every single time. I like logging on and having, you know, sandbox, arcade style. You don't know what you're going to get yourself into in every lobby. There's somebody that's sniping. There's somebody that's trickshotting. There's somebody that's noob tubing. There's someone ninja defusing. There's somebody going for nukes. There's someone pub stomping. There's someone doing every, like, something different and you never know what you're going to get yourself into. If I get on Mono for 3 right now, I know what I'm getting myself into. I'm going to log on. They're going to be using a meta gun with meta perks, with meta kill streaks in the same spot, camping, sweating, slide canceling, that that's it that's all it is that's all the game is now and i gotta play like seven negative games to have one decent one like i'll play I'll, i could sweat for one game if i want to go for a nuke won't get the nuke ah oh, screw that i'm gonna snipe no good luck because now i'm just gonna get absolutely destroyed because i did half decent in the game before cod's dead the game's dead i think we should boycott it it's done like they're, they're not gonna care whether you do boycott it or not Oh, we can't, it's just a sign of giving up. Then Call of Duty is going to tend to the casuals and turn into every other bland game. It already has. It already has turned into that. And they're not going back. So, that's all to say for this video. Hopefully, I can try and get back into the groove of things. I don't know what I'm going to play. If anybody's still watching this, please give me some recommendations down below. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.